the honorary awards are, are, are the most wonderful part of the show. It's a chance for all the, all the nominees to, to run to the bar, to the bathroom, and it instantly makes me the front runner for the uh, Morgan Cox Award at the Oscars. So I'm very pleased to, it is, there's two ironies about my getting this award. The first is that a union of writers would present a, an award for service, most of that service performed out of a fervent desire to avoid writing. Um, when I first got involved in guild politics 22 years ago, when I was 10 years old, thank you for that smattering of laughter at how old you think I am. Um, we didn't have the kind of distractions that we all do now with eBay, YouTube, iTunes. The only uh, typographical error with the wrong letter capitalized was the little w at the end of WGAW. So that was the, the distraction that I chose to, to get involved with. Um, the other irony is that, is that guild service, people are always calling guild service a thankless uh, thankless job, and I'm about to reel off uh, about 400 thank yous. Um, first to Mike Reese, who not only gave that a profound and serious introduction, um, but also now has to stand there and, and smile uncomfortably while I gas on for about five minutes, not talking about how much he reminds me of Shylock. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Uh, to the Morgan Cox Committee, of course, um, I, those of you who are at all familiar with the men and women who've won this award in, in the past, it's a remarkable list of past winners, and I, for me to earn my place uh, among them, I still have a great deal of work to do. The first thing I have to do, of course, is die, because most of them have passed on. Um, <clears throat> the second, um, I actually feel I deserve this award if only because I know who half these altar cockers were. They were all great servants of the guild and spoke much faster than I am. Um, the, um, we need you to move the teleprompter faster, thank you. Um, every one of the Morgan Cox Award winners in the past began their speech by saying, um, I never knew Morgan, I, I knew Mor Morgan Cox, but I never liked Morgan Cox. I have the opportunity to say that I was born after the man retired, I was 10 years old for real, when he uh, died, so I can actually say that I did not know Morgan Cox, but I still never liked Morgan Cox. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you to that committee with all sincerity. To the board of directors, who I understand uh, unanimously uh, chose to give me this award, many of whom I, I campaigned with over the years, whom uh, I certainly endorsed, who I served with for 12 years, the committee itself, which I chaired for four of those years as president, uh, I am now of the opinion that they clearly don't know what the hell they're doing anymore, point of fact being that they gave me the Morgan Cox Award. Um, but to the board of directors, thank you very much. Um, to those of you who ran with me in 2005 and 2007, uh, particularly uh, David Weiss and uh, Elias Davis, but also uh, I'm gonna list a bunch of names and you can applaud when you, when you hear one that you like, uh, Tom Schulman, Phil Robinson, Nick Kazan, Dan Wilcox, Joan Meyerson, uh, uh, Peter Lefcourt, Howard Rodman, Robert King. Uh, many of them will be up here uh, in the future uh, accepting this award, I'm sure, but I share, it, I share it with you. And I can share it because those of you who may not appreciate it, the Morton Cox Award is actually made out of chocolate. And, and I'll sample it just to make sure that I didn't waste money on that prop. <laughs> Thank you to my board running mates. To the Guild staff, past and present, I never put chocolate in your mouth when you're giving a speech. To Guild staff, past and present, who made our volunteer work seem like, like work, because it's hard work being a volunteer at this Guild. I'm gonna list a few of them. Chuck Slocum, Ann Whittefield, Tony Siegel, Jerry Daly, Jeff Hermanson, Neil Sacaro, Lisa Anderson, Rebecca Kissinger. Anybody I left out, it's because the teleprompter's not moving fast enough. Most especially to the man who turned our guild from, uh, from, a, from, a union, from a guild into a union, our executive director, David J. Young. Thank you. 
to, uh, to David X. Cohen and Matt Groening, my fellow writers on Futurama, who for seven of the 12 years of my board service let me spend way too much time away from work in service of the Guild, and for accepting cancellation in the right spirit for those other five years during which I ran the Guild. Thank you to David and Matt. Um, by the way, I want to also thank the security guards in the reception area who were going to be sitting there. If any of you have ever been to the Guild building, this show plays behind their head for the entire year after uh, it takes place. So thank you to the back of your heads, gentlemen. I also want to thank the anonymous commenters on Deadline Hollywood Daily, who on a regular basis compared me to Hitler, but not so humorously as my friend Mike. To them I say, well, I don't want to say what I have to say to them. And to every Writers Guild member who, who even cast one vote, or who picked up uh, one picket sign, or wrote me one email, or attended one committee meeting, or read one of my membership letters, or participated in even one event, I say to you, what, just one? After all that work, you could only, but thank you. I also want to thank, well, applaud yourself. Go right ahead. I want to thank my children who are here. They're here, of course, because they wanted to meet Zoe Deschanel, but they're here because they managed to grow up while I toiled in the fields of the WGA and who I fear may one day attempt to join this crowd despite my ongoing effort to professionally poison the Verone name to Patrick, Marianne, and Teddy, thank you. And finally, to the, to the one Guild member who sacrificed more than any other rearing those children and making a living while I pounded out the table on producers gross versus distributors gross the mantra of organize, 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 and that whole thing about all of us being in it together, my wife of 23 years and a WGA member for 28, Maya Williams. Thank you, Maya. I've learned in my years of service that this union cannot merely be responsive to its, in its actions if it is to survive, much less succeed. It needs to be proactive and progressive if it is to be productive. And that starts with an activated and engaged membership ready and willing to serve. Service to our guild, like service to any cause, is sometimes a passion, often a pleasure, rarely a bore, never a waste of time, and always the best damn distraction there is from writing. Thanks for the chocolate.